Hello tout le monde, c'est Ednora22, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour Trumberbrook, un jeu développé par BTF GmbH et édité par Head Up Games. Installez-vous confortablement sur votre canapé, votre lit, votre chaise de bureau ou sur vos WC, peu importe. Let's go I've arrived at some sort of mining facility. It looks abandoned. Judging by our tracks, I've almost caught up with Gretchen. Debris. People keep losing helmets all the time. Let's have at it. Beverly, I believe I found Gretchen's campsite. She probably went ahead without me. Here we go. Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded, trapped deep underground in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. Hello?
Dans le chapitre 2, nous avons ramassé une pièce, il y a deux succès qui en ont besoin, l'autre s'obtient dans le chapitre 4. Alors ici, nous allons balancer la pièce dans le ravin, et une fois le succès obtenu, vite quitter la partie et recommencer le jeu pour pouvoir conserver la pièce. I wish I could leave this godforsaken cave. Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded, trapped deep underground in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. Away with it. Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved in this puzzle. There you go. Water March. Oh, I almost you thought finally... you'd never come. Look at you, covered in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Uh, I don't have to answer that. Anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time. They sure have big doors around here. It looks like they really wanted to make sure there was no trespassing. Beverly, for a moment I thought I was a goner. Now that I've been able to escape this compromising situation, Gretchen and I are standing in front of a gigantic steel gate. I'll get back to you with more details. Ici se trouve un succès où il faudra ouvrir la porte du premier coup. Il faudra éclairer les différentes écritures qui sont classées dans un ordre d'apparition dans le temps. Si vous vous trompez, quittez la partie et relancez le jeu. We need to get that door open. Alors, on commence avec la peinture néolithique. Please light up these symbols. Wow, these look like neolithic cave paintings. Who would have guessed? A group of stickmen fallen asleep around some sort of hexagon. Tenhauser, this is sensational. Fallen asleep? Look, this seems to have activated one of the lights on the vault door. You see that afterglow? Ensuite, on s'attaque aux hiéroglyphes égyptiennes. What do you make of this? Weird. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. This pictogram on the left could mean door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Doesn't that spark your curiosity as well? Interesting. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort of photonic reception, perhaps. Puis, ce sera le latin. Could you point the light in this direction? Ah, interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to path of no return. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Did you notice that other little light turning on? Ici, l'écriture germanique. What's that over there? You're not gonna believe this. These are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to <clears throat> Be gone, stranger, for all you may find here is certain death. There, another light. Et enfin, les graffitis. What's that over there? Interesting. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Is this a graffito? Down here. In any case, it's hard to decipher. Are you seeing that hexagon there as well? No idea. You've got the door open already? Now there are five lights. What does it mean? Any ideas? This looks promising. This cave has obviously been visited by explorers for millennia. On the wall? And whoever built this gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the right set of knowledge could open it. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writing. They literally left the code on the wall. In case of an emergency? Remarkable.
Let me find the light switch first. Did you see that pretty large particle accelerator? Wow. Faites l'enregistrement avant de placer la bouteille. I stumbled upon an impressive model of our solar system, yet curiously it displays our nine planets in disorder, as if there was a disturbance in the interstellar balance. Much like an event known to the ancient Greeks as ekpyrosis, the catastrophic imbalance of the universe. Whether this is a foreshadowing of things to come, or the device is simply broken, I cannot say. To be honest, it's hard to say if it means anything at all. I brought back order to the universe. Errol, memory overflow. Hello? Anybody there? Of course. Another locked door. Errol. Memory overflow. Sixty-four Errol. kilobytes memory of main overflow. memory on isolinear chips? Good lord. Gretchen. This is the future. Seems you have a RAM module loose. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Please identify yourself. Pour le succès suivant, utilisez toutes les options de dialogue dans le même ordre que moi. Hi, you can call me Hans. I do not recognize you. Hans. Why does it matter? I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. I am Hans, and I defragmented your memory. I do not recognize you, Hans. I am only allowed to grant access to authorized personnel. This isn't going anywhere, Tenhauser. We need brute force. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Please identify yourself. What if I don't want to identify myself? I am sorry. I may only grant access to authorized personnel. I can't see you. Who's talking there? My name is Barbarossa 2000. I am the guardian of the station. Can't you just open this door for me? Not possible. This isn't going anywhere, Tenhauser. We need brute force. What kind of station is this? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I may only give this information to authorized individuals. Who 
Who constructed you? I was developed and built by a Dr. Von Strack and Dr. Rumler. I am property of the Millennium Cooperative. How long have you been here? 16 years, 304 days, and 9 hours. How do I become authorized? Not possible. I cannot authorize you, since I do not know you. Aren't you feeling lonely, all on your own down here? I am patient, by nature. My developers assured me the station was only temporarily shut down. To be honest, I don't think they'll ever come back. Dr. Remler promised me we would start working again very soon. Dr. Remler is my friend. Why would he lie to me? Maybe he didn't want to hurt your feelings. Your point is illogical. If what you said was true, how could I rely on statements made by humans? You can never know for sure. Overheating in segment B23 imminent. chance you might consider letting me through? I am very sorry. I can only grant access to authorized personnel. Ah! You may wait here, if you wish. I would most certainly enjoy your company, yet I may only allow passage to subjects of acquaintance. But you do know me. Yes, you are Hans. Imagine the possibility of Dr. Romler never coming back, and I'd be your only friend. Are you my friend, Hans? I am your friend, Barbarossa. You make me happy. You two are adorable. Get a room. Now that you know me, would you please let me through? But if I let you pass, I will be alone again. Will you come back and pay me a visit? Scout's honor. Access granted. You have no idea, do you? What do you mean? Quantum physicist, ridiculous. Is, is that a gun? Get off of that boy. I can see no reason for violence here. Hey, hey, hey. Is that really necessary? You too, Bambi. Move over there. Are you serious? After everything we've been through? You're not gonna stand in my way. You've had your chance, Tenhauser, but you had to follow me around like a puppy dog. Now that's what you get. But it was you that had the idea to come here. Shut your pie hole. Please, you don't understand. I need help. What kind of a dog are you? A bunch of hapless maggots, that's what you are. Standing in front of the Saturn portal without any clue. You're staying here, chums. You may as well bid farewell to this stupid clunker while you're at it. It's been getting on my nerves from the beginning. No.
Bye bye. Some people are scoundrels, others are not. Yes, that's how it is. I still can't believe Gretchen would play such a wicked game on me. Now, this is not what I wanted either. Who are you? And what are you doing here anyway? Hey, that was you, last night in my room. Calm down, calm down, please. You must have a lot of questions. You bet I do. But first, we should try to get out of this predicament. I assume you have a plan on how to open the door. You seem to know what you're doing. Who are you anyway? My name is Lazarus Taft, and I hope you'll excuse my late introduction. I'm a traveler, if you will. She called it a Saturn portal. What was she talking about? It's a metaphor. Actually, it's just an ordinary quantum portal. You can travel to different realities, distant stars and galaxies. That is where I come from. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Taft. Tannhauser. Let's talk about stealing my notes. Yes, that was me. Believe me, I wouldn't have needed to if everything had gone according to my plan. I wanted to ask for your help, but then she surprised me. I know taking your journal wasn't right, and I'm sorry about it. I would have returned it, I promise. What was it you wanted from my journal? They're really just notes, and a few doodles. I needed it to tune into the right quantum frequency. See, I'm just an ordinary traveler. I know next to nothing about quantum mechanics. At least not enough to control this portal. You're talking crazy talk. This is not the best time to go into too much detail. Okay, okay, but what's my role in all of this? I needed your help. You were the last piece of the when I saw your article in Science Today, I was 100% sure you were the right guy for me, to help me get home. Good lord. So all of this is real? Do you know who built the portal? This station was built by the Millennium Cooperative. I believe something went wrong when I came out of the portal. They took me with them and abandoned the station soon afterwards. But they certainly didn't construct the portal. Who did then? Who knows? Probably a natural phenomenon, a geological vortex, a high-intensity region, a cosmic G-spot. It is ancient. There is a large network, like wormholes connecting different dimensions. And where are you from? From the other side? See, and I know that's kind of a lot of information, but I've been stranded here for some time now. I desperately need to leave, get back home. Please, don't get me wrong, I really like it here, but I need to go. If I don't, I will die, simple as that. As you probably suspected, you winning that lottery was part of my arrangement to get you here. Come again? The problem is that you can't control the portal unless you have the right piece of technology. At home we have a device called a Quantum Discriminator. You can buy it at any convenience store, but I certainly don't know how to build one myself. This is why I needed your formula, the calculations, to tune in. There are dangers, though. You can disintegrate the whole planet if you aren't careful. Which is what she's doing right now. Enough talk. Let's move. Sur ce, je vous laisse. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube, à mettre un pouce vers le haut sur la vidéo ou à commenter. Je réponds très volontiers à vos questions. Rejoignez-moi sur Twitch. Je suis aussi sur Twitter si jamais. On se retrouve très bientôt pour la suite du jeu. D'ici là, portez-vous bien. À la prochaine. Ciao.